Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the uh, Keydex number K-BXSGL234-925. This is a standard, uh, it's a single gate box. I don't know how standard it really is. I don't sell these very often. Um, where would you use such an item? Obviously this way or this way, however you like. Um, you very likely are going to have a um, you know you, you might be do, you, you might be who knows where you're going to use this you might be doing a traditional lock you then might be adding some sort of surface mounted lock up above like maybe a seagull type lock um, you might be doing a deadbolt and you want to have a very unusual center to center uh, that you're going to prep this plate and make that uh, whatever center to center is going to be required. You might have a mechanical combination lock or some sort of uh, interconnected lock where you have an unusual requirement of function holes or whatever the case might be. Um, I really don't think you're going to order this just to suit the overall construction of what you're building by the fact that it's nine and a quarter tall with the hole biased towards one end, but maybe you are. But nonetheless, if these dimensional requirements fit your need, this model might be perfect. So this part number, the 925, that's going to be nine and a quarter tall. The overall depth, they've got it five and a half. This is going to have a back set of two and three quarter. That's the edge of the door to the center of the hole. This is going to be for an inch and three quarter type scenario. So a lock that's going to be intended for inch and three quarter thick doors, this would work just fine. Um, the end of the unit to the center of the hole is seven and seven sixteenths as you can see these two little half circles here that's very typical uh, for you need you need those holes to be there um, and a knob lock uh, knob locks will have a couple of small prongs that are meant to literally bite into the face of the wood door to help with anti-rotation with rotation it's an anti-rotation feature uh, hollow metal doors will always have those little half cutouts half circles at three and nine o'clock and if you are manufacturing a preparation or doing a prep in a door for a lock set not a deadbolt deadbolts don't require these uh, you would certainly need to get in there and file with a rat tail file um, you know that sort of prep to make the lock work the edge is going to be a two and a quarter by inch and an eighth wide preparation two and a quarter inch and an eighth uh, 532 nd deep that's going to be for a typical uh, latch bolt made of steel okay full of oil a simple manufacturing process literally not, I mean not to say that it's simple but it's certainly technology that is um, uh, industrial revolution you've got a pan here a single piece of metal here you've got another pan here you're gonna take the one you're gonna you're gonna shear some steel you're going you're gonna then punch it for the holes punch it for the latch bolt weld on your reinforcing tab well you'd probably bend it after you punch it then weld on your tab and then simply put spot welds or not spot welds tack welds everywhere else to keep the unit together the name Keydex is quite synonymous with uh, weldable gate boxes they have an a, an enormous um, their name is synonymous with weldable gate boxes no one else comes to mind that actually makes them you could also note that there is no stop installed on the edge of this unit at all other units will literally have a uh, have a feature to it where it's part of the steel that will have a stop so if you have a gate that does not feature any sort of provision for stopping if you have a, a, a gate structure that doesn't make any provision for the gate door to stop from hyper or over swinging uh, you you, um, you you might want a model with a stop or at least otherwise provide one there's a link below this video to the document called cut sheet it's just a review of everything we've talked about uh, there is a cross-reference guide okay then there's all yeah let's look at the cross-reference guide first that is very helpful in the sense that you know the lock that you are installing so I'm gonna search for K 
K dash in the cross reference guide, control F, your find function. I'm going to search for K dash BXSGL234, and there's going to be 13 instances of that. And what that is, is it's, it's a very typical uh, gate box, um, just a standard size. Well, this 925 is the odd variant. And what we're seeing here is, and it's not really listed anywhere uh, in their cut sheet, but there is a reference to a lock, and I've never heard of them, Morning Industries MP-300 is the lock type. MP-300, Morning Industries. And when I search that, I am indeed able to find references to it being possibly a mechanical push button lock. I am really not sure what that is, what that lock would be. Um, there are images that show it to be a um, combination lock that may have some sort of remote capability. And so it fits into the criteria said earlier. Of if you've got some sort of combination lock and you've got special function holes, yeah, that's probably where you'd be using this. I am thoroughly unfamiliar with Morning Industries. And in my years of experience, I've never heard of that manufacturer. Um, which, you know, doesn't mean anything, uh, just I've never run across them in the past. The point of the matter is, if you know a lock that you want to work with, that cross-reference is, is very helpful in that regard. Um, now, let's take a look at the document called Gatebox Catalog. That's a pretty a large segment of the manufacturer's overall catalog and 32 pages worth of uh, gate box information. So although there's certainly more than their gate box information there, you might want to um, review their offering of security hardware for wrought iron gates. Uh, you might just find products that suit very well for what you're doing. Uh, if you get into any sort of application of needing to put a lock onto an odd structure, a chain link fence, some sort of you know scenario where you really just want to buy a pre-manufactured box. Now you can probably make one yourself. The question is can you make it as inexpensively as you can buy it? Certainly the most common answer is no, you can't, you can't manufacture the box. Um, important to know that steel is going to be the common product. You're also going to be able to uh, purchase Many units made of both aluminum and stainless steel. Here in southern Florida, there are people are not building steel uh, uh, gates, fences, you know, operating doors. It's going to be aluminum, um, is what we find. People down here will purchase aluminum gate boxes. In Chicago, sure, it's going to be steel, even though. Um, it's going to be steel, is the bottom line, because it's not going to be stainless, uh, usually. But that catalog's really great. You're going to be about two-thirds of the way through the book before you'll start to see them. But you're talking lock applications, electric strike ap applications, exit device applications, um, security hardware that will go on to it. So if you had a gate box like this and you wanted a circular tube that's going to prevent someone from reaching in and getting their hand inside, they've got a really long round tube uh, to prevent that so I would take a look in their in their catalog as well installation is obviously going to be just simply welded to the structure that you're working on the name Kedex is synonymous again with weldable gate boxes but also with if you know their name you probably know them for their armored door loops basically flexible conduit quarter and three-eighths that will permit you to pass through it low voltage wire when you want to bring power from the wall to the door, from the frame to the door, when you want to electrify something. So armored door loops are very common from the overhead to an electric, uh, to an automatic door operator, you know, armored door loops. 
pre-made sizes. Uh, you can purchase the material in bulk rolls as well, the fittings, uh, etc. Finally, there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Kedex products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. Any questions on the Kedex, this is their part number, K-BXSGL234-925. Uh, single gate box or any other Kedex product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.